Hello and welcome to a third installment of the Fox's vlog update. And believe it or not, we are actually in the secret Minecraft project world. It's come on leaps and bounds since you guys last saw it. Um, so yeah, obviously, start first of all where you normally start your day, in your bedroom. So, I've got a few chests here, got a few, uh, got a few odds and sods in here where I've been mucking about with enchantments, yeah, things like that. Um, got a jukebox, we have a record room here, as you can see, or music room as I called it, sorry. So, I don't think they're all in numerical order, and yeah, creepy, very creepy. Uh, just an empty room here, and over here we have the bath and shower room. The reason why the uh, dispensers are on display, oh, well, it's quite simple, you don't hide your taps at home. And that's effectively what they've become, really. You press the button to turn the tap on, press it to turn it off. You use that, and you have the shower. There we go. And can't wait to press, and press to turn it off. Okay, so we should go downstairs, I'll show you down there. <coughs> uh, here we have the enchantment room, obviously we've been mucking about with the enchantments, so on and so forth. Uh, over here we have the trophy room, that will become apparent when uh, the secret series starts. And of course, uh, over here, we have the bar. Gotta have the bar area. Of course, it's uh, at the minute an alcohol free bar. But yeah, uh, we have the little fireplace. Um, <laughs> this was. Uh, let me just have a look. Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. Oh god, what the hell is Flint and Steel under? I can't remember. It's under one of these, I know it is. Useless. Useless. There it is, there we go. Um, yes. The, the reason why the. Uh, the nether rack is so uh, far away. Let's just say all this wood. I originally had the nether rack placed sort of around about here, and that just caught fire. Uh, and luckily, I managed to stop it. But even the roof outside that you'll see uh, caught fire. Well, you won't see because I've repaired it, but I can show you where it was. You know, when it starts smoking through. <coughs> so normally, what I do is put a half uh, a stone half slab down, and then. Obviously, because of the height, it will stop you in. So, yeah. Uh, we have the old home cinema area. As you can see, got the speakers. Not surround sound. Uh, a bit of kung fu there, you know. Okay, so we shall go outside. <coughs> we have the little patio area. You know, nice little seats. A couple of friends over, you know. The bridge which you've seen before, uh, that there is obviously part of the fire. <coughs> um, and here's the roof, obviously this was... It, it took forever, it really did take forever to build. You've obviously seen the little uh, rail cart line, that now gets extended all the way across. Over to there. <coughs> and you just caught your little first glimpse there. See there's always going to be little, little Easter eggs inside of uh, what it's going to be. Okay, so we should go across the bridge. Uh, still go across the bridge. And this is this is my pride and joy, this, what I've done here. We'll go down the stairs here, through the little tunnel, up the stairs again. And there we have it we have a farm. Not just any old farm though. It's, uh, it's quite a unique farm. Um, it's not complicated to make but it can be a pain in the backside at times when things don't go the way you want them to go. <coughs> so we shall get rid of all of this and then I'll let you guys watch what happens. And there we go, can you see all that there? 
We have, uh, I think we have some wheat there. We've got the seeds, some more wheat, carrots, potatoes, which are getting stuck behind the pumpkins. Obviously, it was just a quick rough layout to show you. Uh, we have the sugar cane. Obviously, that won't break because you need normal dirt in order to um, to grow it on. You can't use hoed hoed dirt. Like complicated, very complicated. <laughs> So yeah, um, now obviously the water doesn't break pumpkins, it's just a salad of potato. Yeah, it doesn't uh, break pumpkins, or not. I think the potato is having a fit. There we go. So I think they're sort of more or less, I think I could probably grow them elsewhere, but it was just an example, so you know, the water flows, doesn't break them. Can break the stalks though, as you can see, because there's none there. And then if we come down to here, we have this middle hopper, which is connected to the chest. And these two hoppers, that's connected to that, which is connected to that. Then that one is connected to this one, which is connected to this one. And obviously they all go in here. And then if we do this, there you have it. Yeah. 38 seeds, because it wasn't all grown. 7 wheat, 5 pumpkin seeds, 6 melon seeds, 4 carrots and 3 potatoes. So, I think I actually cut to four potatoes and one carrot. So yeah, um, basically that is, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, obviously that's just a little area that we go up there, the gate there, uh, to replant all the crops. But it's, it, I think it's this way that I need to go in. Yep, it's pretty simple, it's just basic redstone. And that is all it is. Um, Obviously I've had to put, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can quite see how close down, a couple of repeaters there, uh, just to carry the redstone signal further, because it has a distance of, uh, is it 16? 15 or 16 blocks. Um, so obviously, when the farm is activated, or sorry, when the water is activated on the farm, as you'll see, it all lights up. <coughs> and basically what that is, uh, where the wood is there, it's, I'm just going to try to see if I can show you, um, just get some bricks in to cover it up though, where are the bricks, where are the bricks, there they are, okay, so, here it's there, so if we do that, 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 and that, and there we go, so it's a basic rest of the signal, um, it basically, when the redstone is turned on, that light will go off, that goes on, that goes off, and there's one up there that will go on, which will then activate the piston, which I believe is not there, so it's wood. There's a piston, there's a piston in there somewhere, I think it's a random one, just behind that block there actually. Yeah, there we go, piston there. Uh, that will then, once it's turned on, that will pull the piston down. Uh, there's a water source block just behind this one here, which will allow the water to flow down, as you can see. And then, when you turn it off, I'll be able to show you even better. So then I can knock out this block here. And there you go, there's the piston there, upright, holding the water source block back. It looks rather daft, I know, but it works. So you can't really complain too much, that's for sure. And as you can see, the redstone signal has now changed. On, off, on, and that will be off, which will therefore release the piston upwards. So it, it's pretty basic. It uh, can get a bit, a bit, uh, what's the word? It can only get complicated if you make it complicated. So, and there we go, we've had uh, a melon that's grown, and obviously when I've turned that, had that water on, it's uh, seeds everywhere. It's obviously not the uh, the stalk of the melon away, same with the pumpkins by the look of it. <coughs> so, and there's only one more thing to show you before we start talking about gaming. And that is over here, and you're going to get a massive sneak peek here. Of course, you're not going to know what it's for, or what it is, but you're going to get a huge peek at what I've been doing. Of course, I'm not going to look at the screen for too long, because I don't, uh, don't want to give it too much away, that's for sure. 
and there we go. So I will head over to there. That's part of it, but it's not a massive part. It won't give it away. This is my world in its entirety so far, which isn't too bad to be honest with you. Um, I do need to get an animal farm. And I'm thinking maybe I could do that around here. Get rid of the trees, scale back the land a little. And now I finally come up with a use for these, these little guide markers that I created. <coughs> Basically with the new series, these markers that are all around the world. Uh, they are not only reference points, but they are the area of where you you have to stay in. It's, it's not a recommended thing. It it, it is you know, it's part of the rules. Now, um, so I will say, if because um, there will be quite a bit of mining in it, if you do have to mine, but you end up outside the area and you surface outside the area then you are allowed to come back into the area without being penalised so because of it obviously th this world around here is uh, uh, it's huge, it's too big, it's far too big and um, I've uh, had a look at some of the caves in creative mode and some of them just stretch out for god knows how long, I mean you've got one there if I'm right, I could swear that there's a certain a cave around here somewhere that actually leads over to that cave there. So, um, obviously I can't remember what way I went because uh, we all know what caves are like in Minecraft. <coughs> but now, not giving too much away here, guys. I'm not giving too much away. But we shall go down here. <coughs> And we shall follow these stairs. And this is the Temple of Champions. That's what I'm calling it. And you also down here, double side staircase by the way, have the Pool of Champions. Not quite bad. There you go, if you're quick enough to pause, you can get another little glimpse. And they have the throne of champions. With the heads of the victims. I'm going to add a little more to this. It's uh, a little bit bland and a bit bare, really, isn't it? So I will have to add a few more things to this, obviously. Um, but yeah, and over here, this is the old, uh, this is what I call the old battle tower, which you saw me climb up before. Um, and of course yeah, you've got your sword, you've got your bow and arrows, you've got your armour and of course anything goes belly up you have your TNT to blow things sky high so yeah, I've, I've, I've thought about it, you know, a bit of sabotage if things go belly up when you get invaded so obviously because it is a wall worn down Old cobblestone's gone down there. It's come down the sides here. It's come down the sides here as well. Another little sneak peek there. So yeah, right. So what's coming up? Well, we have Minecraft Madness. That is obviously still going. That's going to be going for a long time. Fox's Fabulous World. Obviously, since my last vlog, that has just started. I think we're on episode number four, five. By the time this goes out, I'll probably be five. <laughs> um, I am going to bring TF2 back, but my mind is so wrapped in Minecraft at the minute that I haven't had a chance to do it because I've been busy doing all of this. Because uh, this has taken a, l a lot of time, well, for me, a lot of time. Around about 14 hours, 15 hours in total. And that's with breaks in between, that's with only doing a couple of hours on certain days. Having kids ain't easy, I tell you. Um, so yeah, uh, so tip two, hopefully come back. Um, I'm looking into something that uh, I think is it called Infinity Wars. It's a card-based game, and that looks pretty alright. Um, I don't know how my uh, graphics will take it, but we'll soon see. 
Um, I do have a game review that I need to do uh, for Zoo Park. Uh, it's pretty average, but that'll be coming up soon. Again, my time's been so restricted that I haven't had a chance to do it. I've been meaning to do the review for a, oh, it's been at least a good three or four weeks now, so I'm on the cusp. I can still do it and just about get away with it. Um, farming world is not going to happen yet. It will happen because uh, it is quite a good game, um, but I'm not too sure when. I can't tell you. Gary's mod, well, I'm hitting glitch after glitch with that. Uh, the game keeps crashing on me for some reason. I have no idea why. Obviously, Hexit is going from strength to strength. We're finally getting somewhere with that. Uh, you're going to have the uh, secret project that will be out on Thursdays. That is 99% set in stone. So, and I think Foxes from Friday will be coming back on. Well, it won't be Friday of this week. I think it'll be Friday of next week because I've had to sacrifice that in order to get this complete. Uh, so the recording time that I use for that, I've had to use for this. So it's been a bit of a nightmare. It's been a hell. Um, and also on Sundays, the Minecraft video, because I am aiming to hopefully get a video up every one one video every day of the week. Um, obviously, when it comes to TF2, it'll be Minecraft and TF2, and that will be on a Tuesday. So I think that will run alongside Hexit. Um, for Sundays, it's going to be completely random online game uh, yeah I might even think, I might even do a little mashup of games uh, actually yeah I think I will there you go you heard it first here on the Silver Fox YouTube channel on Sundays I will do a Minecraft mashup where I'll jump onto a server and I'll play a couple of different games and I'll add them all in the one video for you how does that sound I think that sounds pretty swell yeah we'll go with that guys Right, so, in Fox's fabulous world, uh, I would like your suggestions on what to build. Obviously we're not in a building yet, but we, I am aiming to soon be building, put it that way. So, yeah, I think an animal farm will go quite well here actually, and I will try to get that done won't be after the first episode but I'll have it done by the second one or the third we'll go with that just to aim off um, so yeah uh, Fox is fabulous world just let me know uh, you're building ideas a uh, little way off yet uh, need to get the resources obviously and get the animals already fenced off the house so all you gotta do let me know guys details will be in the description below of this video and every other video I've done So, that is it from the secret project, which will be revealed on Thursday. So, as always, you have been watching. This is the secret world that you have been watching. And I will see you all on Thursday. Bye-bye.